Live and Let Die strikes me today as a very bizarre and tasteless entry in the James Bond series. Possibly its most sexist or racist, given the emphasis on villains coming from the African diaspora and the treatment and the deception from Bond of Solitaire. And yet, hey, I also consider it one of the most purely entertaining, even if it is one of the most morally troubling. I like to a point Roger Moore as Bond. I like Roger Moore quite a lot in other films, so I can enjoy him here, but the films he portrayed Bond in after Man of the Golden Gun, you know, Spy Who Loved Me onward, I'm not as fond of them. Allow me to indulge in the male gaze for a moment and ask if there is a more beautiful trio of Bond girls than Madeline Smith, Gloria Hendry, and Jane Seymour. Still, the film contains action beats, a variety of locations, and a phenomenal score conducted by George Martin, and then fitting that Paul McCartney delivers the most well-known Bond song, which is well-known to the point that it isn't necessarily known as being a Bond song, first and foremost. I love the idea of James Bond in the 1970s, the first two Roger Moore films encapsulate this, and a shame about the remainder of them, I would say. This also features some of Ted Moore's better cinematography in a, one of the Bond films, I, I could claim that. That speedboat chase is one, it, it, it gets into a bit silly territory, especially with the sheriff character, but... Just as a series of stunts as a set piece, some of the more exciting Bond action sequences overall in the grand scheme of things, maybe that's more of a testament to the net sum of the Bond series being unimaginative or uninteresting compared to the eventual development of the action film around it. <clears throat> Compare For Your Eyes Only in 1981 to Raiders of the Lost Ark from Mad Max 2 the same year, or even a sleek mood film like Escape from New York, which didn't feature a huge amount of action in and of itself. By the 1980s, or even by the later part of the 1970s, the Bond franchise just didn't seem as relevant or interesting anymore, as it were.